Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready to deliver a ruling. Does anyone have a final statement? Mrs. Bonner? Your Honor, I, um, I wanted more than anything for my son Eric to grow up with two loving parents. Um, but once his father's drinking put Eric at... I am not asking for custody to punish my ex-husband for bringing Eric home late or for getting to pick him up, or for even driving drunk with Eric in the car. I am asking for sole custody to protect my son from someone who is out of control. Detective Bonner? Yeah. Uh... He's my kid, too, Your Honor. I never hurt him. Maybe I made a few mistakes after the divorce, but I never overstepped the line or anything like she said I... I love my boy, too. I'm sober. I think I ought to be allowed to have joint custody like I did in the divorce court. In arriving at a decision, I have reviewed the transcripts of the case, plus the motion submitted by Mr. Shank on appeal and the various depositions given in response. It is my ruling that total custody of Eric Bonner should be entrusted to his mother, Jane Bonner. Let him visit or not, whatever you like. It's funny, I mean, I feel so Jane. guilty. Hey. Just a minute. Just a minute. Hello. Give me a hell of a job. I'm gonna get the hell out of the car. I'm gonna get the hell out of the car. I'm gonna get the hell out of the car. I'm gonna get the hell out of the See you too. How long are you here for? Just a couple of days. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hey, Jay. I lost 30 pounds. Great work, Tiny. Now, uh, just make sure more keeps coming off than going in. <laughs> All right? It's me. Just uh, wanted to check on Eric. Everything okay? Perfect. Want to talk to him? Yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi. How's my guy? Cool. Isaac and I are doing video games. How did I know that? <laughs> I'm sorry, Jane. Sorry. Oh, sorry. no, no. It's okay. It's okay. No. It's called to say hey. Um, I gotta go, honey. I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye -bye. You don't have to get off the phone. I just want to get my Done. machine. That's all. It's all yours. You sure? I'm sure. Absolutely. Okay, thanks. Yeah. Uh, good. Um, I haven't gone around to taking your class yet. It's just that my schedule's a bit hectic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, uh... Still there. Uh, yeah, I know it is. I mean, I'm going to take it. <laughs> yeah, it must be hard, all that traveling. Yeah, it's okay. You know, you get used to it. Yeah. Listen, uh, how late are you working tonight? Um, forever. <laughs> I, I gotta get back. I, I was wondering, I, I mean, I don't mean to be forward or anything like that, but... Would you like to have a drink with me afterwards? Uh, I gotta go back in a couple of days. Tonight, you mean? Hmm. Realize I have to stay till the last body's been carried out. Okay, if that's what it takes. Yeah, sure. Great. Okay. Ooh la la. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you get this job? 
Um, my friend Tori. Yeah. After my divorce, I wasn't so confident about the job market, so mm. took what I could get. Did I meet Tori? Um, bond instructor. Oh, yeah, 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 I got yeah. it. I got it. Anyway, that's how I started there. It's almost enough for the two of us to live on. The two of you? Mm -hmm. My son, Eric. Aha. Uh -huh. He's nine. Love him a lot. Good. Good. Sounds like a great kid. I'd like to meet him sometime. You would? Sure. sure. Oh, wow. I'm used to guys who have their coats on before I finish saying child. No. I work a lot with young people out in San Francisco and um, all around the country. I run these confidence building groups. Really? It sounds kind of new agey, but it's... No, no, it doesn't. No, it's very good. It's very um, hands-on. There you go, folks. Thanks. What? What? You're looking at me. Oh, oh, sorry. I, um, like you. <laughs> and my alarm bells are going off. Yes, I think I know what you mean. We don't have to worry about waking him because he's awake for us. Did I say that? I think you did, about 30 times. <laughs> uh, you want your keys? sort of thing, in case you were wondering, I... <laughs> Neither do I, except... I really like you. And I think we like each other. It's... Amazing. Um, why don't I get you that, uh, drink before you have to leave for California? Must be um... um Eric. You want some breakfast, honey? Right. Well, uh, uh oh, Eric. Your mom's told me all about you. Hmm. So, where's the coffee, Eric? Ask her. I'll make it. Okay. Eric, eh? Yes. Well, uh, my stepfather was called Eric. Eric Brody. Played second base for the Cubs. Chicago Cubs. Mm-hmm. Do you play? Eric's the second baseman, too, in Pee Wee League. No kidding. Well, I guess we should meet formally then, shouldn't we? Patrick Brody. Eric Bonner. Mm-hmm. Firm's better. Keep the pressure. Keep the pressure. Yes, yes! <laughs> Oh, 
What was that? Nothing. Just a rock. You better go into another room or something. I'll be right back. No, no, Eric, no. Stay here. I'll stay back, Mom. It's Bonner. His father. Hi, Dad. Hi, Eric. How you doing? Good. Who's inside? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, well, whose car's out front then? Nobody's? Now I want you to leave. You can't be here, Bonner. Just please go. Who's visiting? None of your business. You are trespassing, Well, how about if Bonner? I make it my business? Hi. Who are you? Not Brody. I'm a friend of Jane's. And you? What the hell is that supposed to mean, a friend of Jane's? Go back in the house, sweetie. Now you stop it. You don't have a right to be here. You just stop it and go. Eric. I'm warning you. I will call the police. What did you say your name was again? Patrick. Damn you, Bonner. You were supposed to set a good example for the kid, remember? Is this what you call a good example? It's gonna be okay, baby. I'm sorry. Mm. He's not supposed to come here. Come over here. Sit down beside him. Come on. He's a good boy. Sit down. It's my fault. I apologize. I shouldn't have gone out there. I didn't mean to. It's just that, well, I feel you and I are going to get on really well. That's why I did it. Your dad's probably a really good guy. It's just that, well, divorce makes adults do crazy things. But it doesn't mean that they don't love you. He has a bad temper, though. Yeah. Well, sometimes it's hard to control yourself. Hard for all of us. Uh, oh, and another one from California. You're two ex-wives in Fort uh, Jones. Yes, <laughs> just a tiny joke, folks. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Love to you and Jane. Bring her back. California has room for one more Midwesterner. Love, Tom and Tracy. Oh, thank you, Tiny. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. The house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't know how lazy I am. Excuse me. I'm just here to have my nails done. <laughs> Not joke. that one again. That's right, bad joke, yeah. Excuse me. Bad joke, yeah. You seen Eric? No. Oh, just... Okay, okay. I'll have the cake. I will indeed. So, you happy? Couldn't be happier. Oh. Thanks for coming to us. <laughs> Where are you going? Patrick? I get it. Well, I'm coming. Everything's okay. It's okay. Look who's here. What is this? Hmm? Hi, baby. Come here. The advantage of moving to California is we'd be far away from Bonner. Yeah, yeah. And we have a life here. I can't just pick up and leave permanently. What about Eric? Well, I mean, millions of kids move each year. They adjust. Yeah, I, 
Maybe, Look. maybe it would be better. Well, stay, stay, stay. Yeah, what is it? We're moving. You're moving? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? Downsize to a condo? We're moving out of state. The hell you are. Go ahead, you move out of state, but you're not taking my kid with you. Where? Out of state where? Connecticut. Patrick got a job. Patrick! And how about if I have a little talk with Patrick? How about I kick in? Look, you come All right, I understand. You got custody. I got nothing. I don't have a leg to stand on. That's clear. you were moving. Where are you moving to? Where are you moving to? Connecticut. We'll send you a change of address once we get settled. Hmm? Where in Connecticut? Hey! Hey, I got a right to know. Theoretically, yes. But you'll have to admit, legally, the court didn't leave you much operating room now, did they? Hmm? I'm making veggie burgers. You want one? You think we're doing this because we don't like you, don't you? Well, nothing could be further from the truth. We're moving because Eric's afraid. We want him to grow up in a fear-free environment. What's with all this we stuff? Why don't the two of you just go and leave my kid here? Your kid? The one you forgot to feed when he was in your custody because you tied one on? The one who was in the back of your car when you were doing 90, drunk on the expressway, that kid? Sure you don't want one? I don't like you. I don't like you either. But I know how you feel. I had a family that was taken away from me once. At first, you can't quite believe what hit you. But then the days begin to roll into one another. And then one morning you wake up and the pain's less intense. And then one day, for all practical purposes, it's gone. Who the hell are you? That's when you begin to assess your role in things. How you made what happened happen. And when that happens, you get better. I said, who the hell are you? Right. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I'll be there at eight sharp. Thank you, Lisa. You're a lifesaver. Bye. Well, she'll keep Eric overnight so I can pack and we can say goodbye to Isaac. Good, 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 good. I still wish you were going with us tomorrow. No, no, I'll meet you in Colorado. Okay? I mean, I don't think he's going to follow, but it'll be a lot safer if he thinks you haven't left yet. Which he will if he sees I'm still here. Come on. Just a couple of days, that's all. That's There. Come on, put your seatbelt back on. The alien. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Don't make me say it again. It's the same car. A silver Buick. He's been following us since Topeka. What is this? Topeka. Us. Follow. We haven't been on the road a day and you're already hallucinating. I saw his radio antenna. He's been calling control. He's got Illinois license plates from where he landed. He's probably Venusian. He's probably a tourist. Then how come he changes lanes whenever we do? Do it, Mom. You'll see. Do it, Mom. Okay. See? Gone. Okay, face front. Let's lose him. That's what I've been trying to say. Take you face of action. Am I doing this? Am I losing my mind? Jeez, Mom, where'd you learn to drive like that? <sighs> Traffic school. Stop eating my food, stop eating. <laughs> Mom, hmm? did you love Dad at the beginning? Yeah. Of course I did. He was very sweet. He used to bring me flowers and even sang to me before he started drinking. Yeah, but then he... Will I ever get to see him again, Mom? Of course you will. Every summer. Um, wait here a second, honey. Uh, excuse me, officers. Um, I know this sounds paranoid, but I think that Silver Buick has been following us. Okay, ma'am. We'll have a talk with him. Come back in. Okay, yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. I 
just go to the bathroom, okay? All right, I'll be right here. Hello? Hi, honey. California? You going to Disneyland? Uh-uh. We're going to live there. No kidding. You and your mom, huh? Yeah, and, uh, someone else. Your dad, I bet. Yeah, well, sort of. Stepfather, huh? My folks got divorced, too. Rough, wasn't it? Uh-huh. So I asked the police to check it out. What did the cops do? Nothing. He left before they could talk to him, whoever he was. Listen, has Bonner been by? H have you seen him? Yeah, I was going to talk to you about that, Jane. Listen, the neighbors saw his car parked at the end of the street last night. Oh, no. Look, uh, I want you to go to the highway patrol. Would you do that? Oh, the sheriffs at the diner already think I'm nuts. Yeah, but just give the highway patrol the license plate number, OK? And uh, I'll move my ETA up, and I'll meet you at the coach house in Evergreen as soon as I can get a flight, OK? OK, OK, I will. Uh, hold on. Are you going to go to Disneyland when you get out there? So what do you say, Eric? Let me give you some free passes. Eric? Coming! I gotta go now. Sorry. Bye now. Oh, here he is. Oh, I can't wait to see you. Well, I can't wait to see you either. Um, I miss you. I miss you too. I'll be there soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. And it had been following you since Topeka, did you say? Well, I didn't see it until then, uh, but Eric said it had been there earlier. Mm -hmm. Your son's name? Yes. And your husband's a peace officer. Ex-husband. Well, ma'am, we have a license plate. We'll look out for the car. You just let us know right away if it commences to follow you again. Thanks. Let's go, honey. Oh, you okay? I don't feel so good, Mom. I think it was that pie. Which piece? The arrival of Flight 816 from Philadelphia has been delayed due to the weather. Flight 206 to Denver has been delayed. Yeah. Flight 1787 with service to San Diego has been canceled. Flight 619 with service to Des Moines has been delayed. How are you feeling? Terrible. We'll be there in a little while. I can't drive any faster because of the rain. That's okay. I'm out of it. Behind us. Maybe.
you okay? Mm -hmm. <sighs> really, Mom? Why did you learn to drive like that? Um, Don Slade's competitive driving school. I uh, took a course after your dad and I separated to uh, <laughs> work out my aggression. Be the coach house in just a minute, honey. It's too late. I'm not gonna make it. Remember when I drove you back from camp when I had the chicken pox? Hmm? <laughs> you looked pretty funny. <laughs> hey, so did you when you had it. Yeah, but I'm a kid. He's back. Who's back? Your dad? The Venusian. Oh, God. Get back. House in. How may I direct your call? Yes, has Patrick Brody checked in yet? Sorry, Mr. Brody still hasn't arrived. Are you sure? He Could said you... it's been snowing all night and his flight to Denver was delayed. I'll give him your message as soon as he arrives. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Mrs. Brody. I need to wake you when I woke up so we can call Patrick. Oh, I called him, honey. You did? What did he say? Well, he's not there. He'll call when he gets in, sweetie. Patrick? Patrick Brody? Mr. Brody hasn't arrived yet. Would you like to leave a message? Yes, tell him Eric called. Okay, I'll do that. 
Have a nice day. Thank you. say that I have. Eric! Eric! So you think what? Four, two, four, three? Four, two. Four, two. Fifty-three pounds, blonde hair, light blue eyes. I gave you the photo. What makes you think your husband took him again, man? My ex-husband. Because he was following me, I saw him. Look, I know you're policeman, and you can't believe that another policeman would kidnap his own son, but please believe me. Uh, look, at this point, we're not even sure he was kidnapped. He could have run away. No, he's never run away. He went out to call his father, his stepfather. I know because he tore the number off the pad. I told you it was... Yeah, he could have gotten lost. Look. He knows how to use a phone. He would have called me if he was lost. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Mrs. Bonner. Brody. Jane Brody. I just want to make sure I got all this straight now. Now, the other driver wound down his window, and you recognized your husband? Uh, is that right? Look, why don't you just check the license plate I gave you? That highway isn't illuminated, is it, man? So how can you be so sure who you saw? Hey, where are you going? Miss Bonner, where are you going? To look for my son. If you won't, I will. Hey, we're not finished yet. Desk. Jane Brody, roommate, uh, are there any messages? Your husband called. He said to call him at the Coach House Inn, room 204. Thank you. Coach 
us in. It's room 204, please. One moment. Oh, oh, Mrs. Brody, your husband left word he was going out to look for you. Would you care to leave a message? No. Yeah. Tell him his wife called again. I'm in my room. It's urgent. It's okay, it's okay. Don't blame yourself, oh. okay? The police will find Bonner. Uh, no, Bonner's here. He didn't take Eric. What do you mean he's here? <sighs> well, then who? It's okay. Sheriff, Sheriff, could I have a word with you, please? Just a moment, Sheriff. Can I talk? <clears throat> sure. You are? Uh, Pat Brody, uh, my wife and I would like to know what leads you're pursuing. Well, as I told Mrs. Brody, we don't know much at this time. But surely you must have some theory about what happened. It's just too soon to tell, Mr. Brody. Eric could have gotten lost and hurt him. No, that's impossible. I mean, where would he have gotten lost around here? Look, I, I know you're all policemen, and just because Bonner is this... Better listen to him, Sheriff. He watches uh, America's Most Wanted on TV. I'm a busy man, Mr. Brody. Let's get into this another time. I'll let you know the second I know anything. Just because I what? What? That's what you were saying when I uh, interrupted you. Well, just because I... What? <clears throat> Let's go, hon. I'm gonna get my stuff from the coach house and check in here. We shouldn't let him out of our sight. Why not? Well, what if what if they find Eric and we're not here and uh, he... Okay, you have a point. I hear what you're saying. So, so what do we do, hmm? <sighs> Take him with us. Maybe he can come up with something they can't. Why don't you come with us? OK. Let me just tell him where I'm going. Well, this is just great, I tell you. you. Can't keep a kid safe for two days without somebody coming well, along give and it a rest, snatch, snatch. It's not constructive. Oh, constructive. What the hell is constructive about taking a kid away from his natural father? Huh? What's constructive about that? Yeah, well, blame yourself. Blame myself. You two sneak off without telling anybody. Because you always put your nose in everything. You never want to stop. Stop it! Stop it. it. Why did you have to come after us, Bonner? Because he's my son. Because I love him and you were going to take him away from me. All I can think about is what is happening to him and all you can think about is what's happened to you. <laughs> it's the wrong time for this. Yeah, that's right, Jane. Everything that you do is perfect, Jane, and everything that I do is wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want to ask you a question. No! Why did you break into our house in the first place, Bonner? Because Why I want to smash all the windows again. What the oh, hell are you talking about? What are you looking at? The sheriff called. We've identified the car. Come on. The car was rented in Chicago by a Mitchell West. But West's credit card was stolen that morning, so Illinois is working that angle for us. Did you run the contract for Prince? They're doing it now. The car was a 1993 silver Buick. 
We'll find it. But I don't want to raise your hopes, Mrs. Brody. There's a good chance we'll find it abandoned. But there'll be something. Clues. What about APBs? Did you release photos? We've given Eric's photo to the papers. And by tomorrow, all the Utah and Colorado will have seen his face. Look, there's nothing you can do here for now, so why don't you all go get something to eat? There's a nice little restaurant across the street, and we'll call you if we need anything. Uh, what if there's a ransom call? I mean, shouldn't somebody be at the motel to get it? Oh, well, if they haven't called yet, it's unlikely. Sure. Why don't you take the first shift, Mr. Brody, and you can spell each other. Okay. All right. Why don't you go with him to some time? No, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Just a okay. See you later. Okay, go on. So let's go get something to eat. Whiskey and water, please. Mm -hmm. No ice. Sure. Do you have to drink now, Bonner? Sue me. What made you start drinking in the first place? <sighs> what did Sandstrom send us away? Get me off his back. Small town hit cops, you know. Why don't you cool you out so you wouldn't get in the way? Yeah. Why'd you do it? It's not like you to get off people's backs. Yeah, I know. Still early. Anybody can do the legwork, especially if it was just some creep. There you go, sir. You didn't, not till after Eric was born. Didn't what? Drink. It's not like we didn't want a child. You were crazy about the prospect of having a boy, remember? You wanted a boy more than anything. How did you pick that moment to become a drunk? Why not? Hey, is this a mole or what? What? This mark. Is it a mole? There's something wrong with the picture. Oh. I was going to aim for it. <laughs> Remember the night Eric was born? How worried I was when he stopped kicking? Yeah, you were wired. Yeah. Remember our trip to the hospital? You picked me up in the company car. You called it. You drove all the way with a siren on. R-H-I-P. Rank has its privileges. Why are we walking down memory lane now? I don't know. I was so worried something had gone wrong. Would have been my... Fifth miscarriage, but we had Eric instead. Yeah, instead. We had Eric instead. What do you mean? Mean what? Why did you say instead like that? You said instead. No. Not the way you did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't speak English as well as you, I guess. I was out for two days after the cesarean. They didn't let me see Eric till the third day. And even then, they only let me hold him for an hour. Remember? I was so upset. 
And my only consolation was that you could hold him. But you didn't want to. Why? Why don't you leave it alone, Jane? Leave it alone? We don't know where Eric is or what has happened to him. I'm not trying to hate you. I just... I want to know. Why couldn't you have held him? I held him. What did you say? I held him. He died, didn't he? Our son, our baby died in childbirth, didn't he? It was stillborn. You didn't grip on yourself, okay? Didn't he? Didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he died. They said, uh, the baby got tangled in the umbilical cord. <laughs> Did Dr. Miller know? Yeah, of course he knew. He no, knew. not about that. That you switched babies. Did he know? I was worried how you were going to take it because of the other miscarriages. He told me he had a patient who was going to put her baby up for adoption. I made a deal with her. What kind of a deal? She wanted money, I gave her money. How much? A lot. We didn't have a lot. What did you do? You don't want to know, Jane. Mm -hmm. Where is she now? The real mother. I don't know. She OD'd, probably. I figured you didn't want to talk about this. Why didn't somebody tell me my baby died? Mm -hmm. I said I was going to tell you. Damn you. <laughs> yeah, you lay into me, Jane. I bought him for you. I committed a crime for you, so you go ahead and dump on me. Oh, no, I'm not talking about that. About buying him. Eric is my son. You can't take that away from me. <laughs> Damn you for lying to me. You let me live that lie all these years, and you made me pay for it. And Eric, and you and I, that is your crime. You couldn't take what you had done, and damn you, you took it out on all of us. What kind of a woman doesn't know when her kid dies? Now, you tell me that. What kind of a mother doesn't know when her kid dies inside her? You tell me that! Tell me that! Sergeant ah! Bonner, get in. They found the car. How'd they find it? Someone phoned in a tip. What happened? All right. Go! Go! Quiet is the grave. Good. Well, we'll move around midnight. I'll uh, come by a few minutes before. No problem. All systems go. Woo! Yes! Found it under a car cover by the side of the hotel. My men are checking it now. The registrants are room 216. Now the motel's being evacuated, and we're prepared to wake them up. Is the boy in the front room? We don't think so. We checked with a pinhole microphone. Then where? We think he's in the bathroom. It's in the middle of the building, so we can't hear him. Don't worry, Mrs. Brody. We won't do anything that would endanger your son. 
Did you find out who phoned in the tip about the car? Not yet. Well, who are these guys? You have an ID on them? There are indications they're out of Chicago. Sure. No, excuse me. What's with you? Not much. You're blocking the pitcher. Why don't you sit down and watch TV or something? Nothing's going to happen for an hour. Mrs. Brody. We found something we need you to look at. It may be your son's shirt. Now there's some blood on it, so please be prepared. It's his. Where did you find it? In the car. I know how it looks. But Mrs. that much Brody. blood could have come from a bloody nose. What are you going to do? They're gonna go in. They yeah. have no choice. We'll need you to stay out of the way for a while. We're gonna be throwing some tear gas. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Suppose no. he's right. Suppose it is from the bloody nose. I mean, this could up the ante, surely. They have to surprise him. But look, I've been over all this with him. Why can't you just wait for them to come out? Can't you call in there and tell them that they're surrounded? It'll all be over in a minute, Mrs. Oh, God. but wait, there's a knife. If they tip their hand, these guys could use Eric for a hostage. They have to surprise him. Now, you stay here. You hear me? Why did they have to kidnap him in the first place? Why would anyone want to kidnap him? I Hello. Mr. Karkin? We have a problem. Better? Where's Sheriff Sansker? Easy. What did they say? They want us to go back to the horseshoe where they can get in touch with us. About Eric, what did they Look, say? that's all they told me. Come on, they gave me a car. I'll tell you about it on the way. Those guys never had Eric. 
You mean they had them hidden somewhere? I mean they were professionals out of Chicago. Hitmen don't leave clues in car trunks. They never had them. Well, then how did his shirt get in there? There is no Douglas Patrick Brody in California, I checked. Don't start this again. I can't take this. You're saying I put the shirt there. Is that what you're saying? What do you know about this guy? Patrick has lived with us for the last four months. He could have taken Eric any second of any day. Why didn't he? Why don't you answer that while you're making our lives hell? Where are we going? I don't know. Anywhere. Away from them. Of course, sounds from okay. Let's find another motel, okay? We'll check in for a while. I'm Patrick Simpkins in California. Why? It's my real name. I changed it when I got out of prison. I was in prison for SNL fraud. When I got out, I wanted to start a new life, so I got a new name. I should have told you. I would have, but Bono got there first. Yeah, why didn't you tell me before we were married? Plenty of time. It was my uncle's SNL. He used me as a front. My name was in all the documents. I didn't tell you because, well, I was ashamed. I'm sorry. Excuse me, is Patrick Brody still registered here? Yes, he is. Well, I have to see his room, please. Oh, I'm sorry, it's a police emergency. Thank you. I don't need you anymore.
Still busy? Yeah. Did you try the operator? Yeah, that line's busy too. Oh, I think there's something wrong with his phone. Well, that's how it always is. Phone's there and until you really need them and then they're out or someone's using them. Okay, well, did you dial eight first? Yeah. Okay. Um, um let's just go back. Uh, hey, wait, wait, wait. Let's just sit here for an hour or so and then we'll go back, okay? Everything's gonna be fine. Well, Sandstrom doesn't want to talk to me anyway. He just thinks I'm in his way. He doesn't want an hysterical woman interfering with his investigation. But what's he done so far? Nothing. Hey. Nothing. Hey, hey, come here. Come on. Come on. Just sit down, will you? Okay. All right. Relax. Okay. And stay focused. Poor Eric. I... His father and his mother got him into this mess in the first place. I just, I just wish I could trade places with him. Look. Look at me. Now's not the time to go to pieces. Now's the wrong time to fall apart. Okay. Come here. Here you go. water? Sure. You know what I think we should do is... You read about people who throw ashtrays. <laughs> you see it in the movies. You never think it's gonna happen to you. <laughs> like a lot of things. Yeah. Oh. I guess it's a bit late in the game to pretend, isn't it? Hmm? 
I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm a little annoyed. I mean, all that hard work, all that planning. A double cross really throws a wrench into everything. Whew. Is Eric alive? Alive as can be. Is he in there? Where? Is he in there? Oh, come, come on, no, no, come on, no, 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 come on. Relax, that's okay. Come on. Are you gonna hurt us? Why would I do that? Hmm? I love you. Both. Marvelous idea to book two rooms, eh? I could shuttle the brat back and forth while they clean. It's the sort of little detail you pat yourself on the back for. <laughs> that is, of course, until the larger details unravel. Come on, Jane. Let's collect them. Keep our appointment with Bonner. Come on. Come on. You know, quietly, quietly, he's asleep. I gave him some sleep aids. He's a good boy. Oh, look at that. Isn't that sweet? The mummy's here. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Oh. Why did you do this? Why? You mean, why did I take Worm in the first place? You can undo his hands. It's okay. Go ahead. Because I want to sell him. Sell him? To who? To his grandfather. Eric doesn't have any grandfathers. I'm afraid he does. You see, Jane, um, I'm Eric's father. What's his grandfather's name? Bobby Cockin. How could someone so rich be so stupid? Why would he want to buy someone he knew wasn't for sale? I'd never... He might. Once you saw where Bobby lives. Hmm. Well, that's irrelevant now, Janie. You see, once you married me, I became Eric's guardian. If anything happened to you... What then? Well, the facts about Eric's lineage will come out. Mine is my part, of course. He was adopted. Purchased, really, by you and Bonner. From a very rich man's drug-addicted wayward daughter, who happened to be... And I'll tell you this, though, it's not for general consumption. My wife. What happened to her? And his birth mother. She died of a drug overdose. After that, I bummed around, did time, took a couple of correspondence courses in prison, one of which was in logical thinking. That's how I came up with this little beauty. Mm -hmm. Little education can be a dangerous thing, Janie. What about Bonner? Do you really think he's going to go mm -hmm. along with I this? sent Bonner a message. I think he'll come alone. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think he will come alone. It was the way I put it. You know, if only Bobby had trusted me and not sent his hitman to steal Eric and incidentally blow me away, today would have been a much nicer day. Much nicer. You tipped off Sandstrom. Okay, pull over here on the left. Pull over on the left. Get out. Hey! Out! There you go. I don't think you're going to have too long to wait. I'm going to be over there. Why didn't you sell Eric to his grandfather years ago? Well, he didn't want him years ago. He was mad at his daughter, Sue. <laughs> Sue Carkin. And me. <laughs> Especially me. <gasps> That's why we had Eric. Cool the old man out. Just didn't happen. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Hey. 
But hey, you know, everyone gets old. The old man lost his daughter. He asked himself, what is it money can't buy? Can't buy your new grandson. But luckily, he still had this one. <laughs> How much will you sell him for? How much? Um... Well, I asked for five million. Seemed like a reasonable price at the time. Eric will never go along with this. He'll fight you and hate you till the day he dies. Oh, I don't know about that. Money heals all wounds. I'm gonna be in here. I don't lose interest. Okay? Hi. Boy, am I glad to see you. It's okay, keep coming. Nice and easy. That's it, nice and easy. <coughs> uh, don't worry about him, he's asleep. He's asleep, I promise you, it's okay. He's asleep. Okay, this way. Don't be shy. Um, can you open your jacket there, just a moment? What you got? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> can you take that out, please? Just take it out and uh, put it on the ground. Okay, nice and easy. Very slowly. Okay, very good. Back off, would you? Just back off. <laughs> what is he going to do? I don't know. I don't know. Does anybody know you're here? Shh. Oh, gosh. This was easy. <laughs> I mean, who says crime is hard, eh? What are you going to do? Hmm? Oh, not what I'm going to do. Bonnie here is going to kill you in a rage, then uh, shoot himself in despair. I'll turn up later and Eric will never be found. Oh. At least not as Eric Bonner. I mean, he'll surface sooner or later as a Karkin, which is what he is. Karkin. What if I didn't agree to come to California in the first place? What if Bonner hadn't broken the windows? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't, don't be silly, don't be silly. <laughs> Bonner didn't do that, I did. Oh, Bonnie here just established the psychological climate where he might have broken them. Your trusting nature did the rest. Back off. That's it. Just back off over there. Okay, Janie. Can you turn around, please? <laughs> just turn around, okay? Please? Hmm? Just nice and easy. Jane.
Okay, honey. Everything's gonna be just fine. You okay? Yeah. Look, here's your vest. Yeah, I did a little. You saved my life. You saved mine. We're not gonna stand around exchanging testimonials, are we? Well, no, no. No, that's not my style. You okay, Eric? Yeah. You are right, you know. I should have told you what happened a long time ago. I guess you can't go back again, though, can you? No, you can't. You really can't. Come on, I'll give you and I'll get a ride back to town. St. Louis when they're done with it. Mm. We've got lots to do back home anyway, honey. You saved me, didn't you, Mom? And your dad. He did, too. Why did Patrick do it? He told me I was adopted. What was he talking about? Well, he was talking about an old sin. I have to tell you about it. Let's save it for the trip home, okay? This is Brody. I don't know what to say. You're a very brave woman. Well, thank you for everything. I wish you thank all you. the best. Goodbye, son. Have a good plane trip. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. here, sweetie. You're Bobby Karkin, aren't you? You can't buy someone else's child, Mr. Karkin. Why not? You did? No, my husband did. But I raised Eric, and he is as much mine as if I gave birth to him. You wanted to buy him like, like he was a puppy. People died because you wanted your puppy. I've told the police what I know about you, Mr. Karkin. And? And if anything happens to my son, But you didn't do anything wrong. Other people did. Flight 207 for St. Louis, now available for boarding through gate 7. Uh, but I'm still your son, aren't I? You still love me, don't you? I will always love you, Eric. You'll always be my son. You always were. <laughs> 